goals are a new capability of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011, and they provide a mechanism for defining and measuring performance against any sort of target that you wish to set in your CRM system. And effectively, they enable you to um, measure a count of records in CRM or a sum of currency fields within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So for example, you might set a count on the number of qualified leads that enter your CRM system in, in any one month. Um, from a revenue perspective, you might set a goal for measuring the amount of uh, opportunity revenue that comes into Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So with this video, what we're going to do is explore the creation of a new goal metric for uh, measuring uh, some sort of goal in CRM, and then we'll attach this to a goal and walk through the uh, reporting of, of goals. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new goal metric. And in this scenario, what we're going to do is measure the number of phone calls that are uh, created and completed by users in the CRM system. So I'm going to give my metric a descriptive name. And in this case, we're not going to be measuring any sort of currency field like the uh, opportunity revenue or the, the amount of revenue that is generated from campaigns. We are going to actually just create a metric to count the number of records that are created in the CRM system. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save my uh, metric. And now I'm going to define the roll-up fields that will help define the measurement for this particular metric. So we need to tell CRM um, what type of records will constitute a completed record in this case or a, a record in progress. So I'm gonna add a new roll-up field. And my roll-up field is going to be, um, firstly, the in progress value. So these are the number of potential records that uh, might make up this particular metric. So in this case, it's going to be uh, the phone call record. And these are phone calls that are open. And um, for the time period for this particular goal metric, we're going to actually set that as being the start date. So if somebody creates a new phone call in the system and sets the start date, then that will appear against this particular goal metric. So I'm going to save and create the actual metric as well. So again, it's phone calls, but in this particular case, we want to measure phone calls that have actually uh, been completed in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And when they are completed, it's, it'll be the actual end date that will determine uh, which period this particular um, goal metric uh, appears within. So I'm going to go ahead and save that too. So we now have defined the roll-up fields that uh, determine uh, and help track this particular metric. So what we can do is go ahead and save our metric and attach this to a new goal. So I'm going to create a new goal within CRM. So click on new and define a new goal. So this is going to be uh, phone calls and actually I'll call this quarterly phone calls and we'll set this as a particular goal um, for uh, uh, the quarter. There it is. And I'll set myself as the, the owner. You would typically assign this to the uh, user or group of users that you wish to um, track the performance for. And in this case, we are going to set a fiscal period. So I'm going to set this as our um, Q4 metric. And I'll just update the uh, description to take that into account. What you could do, of course, is set a custom period. So you might want to set this for a particular month or a particular week. So you could set this as a um, a goal uh, for the month of November and revise your 
goal description accordingly. But I'm going to take take this back and, and make it a um, fiscal period. So Q4 of the current financial year. What we can do then is set a target based on the metric that was selected. So in this case, I'm going to set this as um, 10 phone calls that need to be created and click save. So we can now start measuring performance um, against the targets that we've set. So on the left hand side here, we can see there is an area where we can actually review uh, the phone calls that are uh, in progress and phone calls that are completed um, that participate against this particular goal. So at the moment we don't have any records that, that match the criteria. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new telephone call for a particular customer record. So I'm going to create a related phone call. It's very quick to do in CRM. So I'm going to give my phone call a description. So this is going to be a call about contracts. And I'm going to mark this as a completed phone call. And I'm also going to create a phone call that I'll schedule for later on in the week. So we're going to call about presentation and um, this is going to be due for Friday. So we've now got a completed telephone call and uh, an outstanding telephone call for this particular um, customer. So we should be able to see within the closed activities area um, there's our call and within the outstanding activities the call that's been scheduled. So if we go navigate back to our particular um, goal record we should now be able to start measuring the performance against that particular goal. So quickly going to open my Q4 phone calls goal and you can see there is a recalculate button at the top of the screen so I'm going to ask uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM to perform a calculation on all of the phone calls that are in the CRM system. It will actually recalculate this automatically. There's a system setting and you can obviously set this to uh, to recalculate on a, on a particular schedule. So if we navigate down to our actuals area, we can see we now have one phone call uh, that was completed and uh, one in progress. So against our target of 10 calls, we've now um, have a percentage achieved value of 10%. Uh, over on the left hand side, if I click on my in progress, I it will show me the uh, participating record so we can see the call about presentation and clicking on actual, here is the completed phone call that we set earlier on. So navigating into the phone call, we should see that this was the telephone call that we created for the customer earlier. We can also report uh, on uh, performance of a particular goal. So if I just uh, shut that down, um, we can see over on the right hand side here, if I refresh my um, chart, we get a, a more visual uh, view of the goals and um, the performance over time. So we can see the Q4 phone calls target is 10 and in green and red, we actually have uh, the two phone calls that were uh, relate to that particular particular goal.